front, back, up, down. Describing locations in anatomy can sometimes be really confusing. Who knew there could be so many names for so many directions? In this short tutorial, we're going to explain two terms for you. The words rostral and caudal. To understand the terms rostral and caudal, let's quickly go over some directional terms you may already know. Remember Our Lady in the anatomical position? For those who don't remember, let's quickly remind ourselves. The anatomical position is the position from which we derive all of our directional terms. And as you can see, our image is of a standing body looking straight ahead, feet apart and pointing forward. Her arms are hanging down at both sides with palms facing forward. And if you recall, there are four important directions that are used regularly in anatomy. Can you name any of them? If you named north, south, east and west, you're close, but not quite. The four main directions are superior, that is towards the head, inferior, or towards the feet, anterior or ventral, which refers to the direction towards the stomach, and posterior or dorsal, which refers to the direction towards the back. Got that? All right, let's move on now to discuss how the terms rostral and caudal fit into all that. So let's for a moment go back, way back. Remember this little guy? That's right, not long after we're little grape bunches of replicating cells, we turn into embryos. Now here's the thing. If I told you that rostral comes from the Latin word rostrum, which means beak, where do you think the rostral end of this embryo might be? That's right, the rostral end refers to the superior or cranial aspect of the embryo. In fact, rostral not only sounds like nostril, it can help you remember that the rostral direction is in the direction towards the nose. So can you now guess where the caudal end might be? That's right, it's at the inferior or posterior end of the embryo. Caudal comes from the Latin word caudum, meaning tail. So if we're talking about the caudal end of something, we're talking about its inferior or posterior end. So the terms rostral and caudal are important when discussing the rostrocaudal axis in the embryo. But really where they're used most in the human body is within the field of neuroanatomy. Let's now have a look at how we use rostral and caudal within the brain. For this part of the tutorial, we're going to be using this mid-sagittal section of the brain. And of course, when it comes to labelling our directions, we have the superior aspect over here, the inferior aspect over here, the anterior or ventral aspect over here, and our posterior or dorsal aspect over here. When it comes to neuroanatomy, the use of rostral and caudal is different for different parts of the brain. And I know this is going to be a little bit confusing, but don't worry, we're going to take it really slow. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.